Now we're getting into that later season uh, period of time where it's gun season then rolling into muzzleloader season. We have about 18 days to hunt uh, during this time of year. And I like bow hunting. Um, in fact, the majority of the time during gun season so far, I've used my bow in the tree stand. Um, but we love coming into our redneck blind right here and watching these food plots. Uh, Jake and I both shot some nice bucks last year. Uh, Dante shot a nice doe in here. Sam was with me, my son, when I shot a buck, which was an awesome time with him, which led to him actually hunting and shooting his own doe this year. But bottom line, these food plots anchor our deer movements on this small property. We only have about 30 acres of cover up here. When you get into this time of year, the food you have and the quality of the food, which we have a lot out here right now, can be incredibly powerful. Over the last month, we've had video and pictures of right around 30 different bucks using this food plot, a lot of times during the daylight. Great attraction, great reward, but just the same huge risk. What I mean by that is we have to manage the level of risk and as it relates to our entrance and exit of this stand location. We built Egyptian wheat around here. We have switchgrass coming up, which you can see right in front of the blind here. Um, we have switchgrass along the sides. We have switchgrass against the plots. We have a lot of cover getting in and out of here. We've done everything we can to be able to get in and out of this food source without spooking deer. A blessing and a curse. This time of year, the deer herd up because there's not a lot of sanctuary out there. There's not a lot of areas where deer can get into and they're not disturbed by hunters. They've been pushed around, yanked around, and so they tend to herd up. We're hunting that herd. We want that herd on our lands. I want the lands that I manage to have those herds. It's pretty easy to do, but you can't spook it. Pretty easy to build an attractive um, food plot, attractive habitat, but then if you come in here and spook it, it's done. So you have to manage this level of risk and reward. You have to manage that balance. And so anything you can do to make sure you can get in and out and not spook these deer, you have to do. What's the problem with spooking the deer? Yeah, some does and fawns might come back within a few days, um, but those mature bucks, and especially those old wary does, they are not gonna come back. And, you know, we're getting into the end of November here. Um, we have about five weeks left of the season. If we spook out this herd out of here, they're gonna go find another spot where they can call their home. They might even go a mile, they might even go a half mile, whatever it is, and potentially during the rest of the season, we might not have that level of deer, which could be 20, 25 deer hitting these food plots. A lot of them from the surrounding properties, um, we can't expect to hold them if we're spooking them just once. And so we come in here and spook and we're real invasive one time, they're gone. So we have to manage that herd. We, we're of course building everything we can do to attract that herd, to promote a non-invasive, low impact, um, low hunting pressure. Um, application on this property right here, but you have to manage that uh, level of risk and reward. We've had some great luck hunting out of this blind, these food plot systems. We have the cover, we can get in and out without well, spooking deer. So for 18 days of uh, gun and muzzleloader, we have a lot of fun out here and we're looking forward to it. Um, but if we don't manage that level of attraction, we're gonna have one sit be done. And if that big buck doesn't have to come out then, we, we could potentially ruin our hunt for the rest of the year, let alone affect the surrounding cover that's up in this hillside. So enjoy your food plots, enjoy that attraction and habitat that you build, but learn to manage it and you'll be rewarded greatly. You can promote bucks to the next age class, pass on those young bucks, and uh, really build a herd that's conditioned to a true sanctuary on your property every single season.